Love. It's the meaning of life. It's powerful, magical, and wonderful. Until it's not. I'm not happy. What? Okay, so tell me what's wrong. I don't know, I miss the person that I met three years ago. That guy was romantic. Romantic. You're pissing in front of me. Yeah, I'm staying hydrated. You should be happy for me. Well, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, except I eat fish. And pepperoni on pizza, because that doesn't count. Mr. Wolfington, attorney at dog. He's a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Wow. Fuck you. The only time I'll ever be happy again is when you're fucking dead. I didn't say that. I heard you. I didn't mean it. This is so hard. It doesn't have to be. I just want to be happy. It's not called gently reclining in love. It's called falling in love. Because, yeah, it could hurt, but you're never going to know unless you jump off the ledge. You are so worried about everybody else that you don't give a shit about the one person that's supposed to matter most. Well, that's so nice, Sam. But when's the last time a cabbie gave you a blowjob? Does an Uber driver count? That's not funny. I'm not laughing. It is kind of funny. He loved him. Woo! So you just gonna lay here and let him go. Stop punishing yourself. Find something simpler. Maybe Molly and I are just too different. Like I see the glass of water as half full. She sees the water as poison. I don't understand how much pressure there is for me. I mean, it's easy for you. No, I don't want to have a baby when I'm an old man who can't pick up his fucking kid. I could think of nothing you would love more than not having to carry your baby. Yeah, that would be nice.